What you gonna do when millions of Pokemaniacs run wild on you? And crap all over your game. Welcome to the Weekend Moblin. This is Steve. We just wanted to go over our opinions on the new Sword and Shield trailer that dropped today. The big one here is the Galar forms for sure. Uh, we were introduced to Galar Weezing, which we really liked. It kind of reminded us of an old-time British businessman, a straight out of a Charles Dickens novel. And in our opinion, Galar Lanoon favors our favorite honey badger from the Diddy Kong Racing series, Bumper, whose evolution, Obstagoon, looks amazing. The Pokemon company knows that we love their older Pokemon, and that's why they've been trying to incorporate them into their games since X and Y, by trying the mega evolutions in those titles. I did like what they done in the Alola re Region better with Pokemon Sun and Moon introducing us to region specific Pokemon. I'm glad that's back and probably my favorite part of Pokemon Sun and Moon is seeing what Pokemon was gonna get that treatment in that title and here we are again doing it again in the Galar region. Those games didn't stray away from the original 150 and seeing some new generations in the mix is welcomed in our opinion. That's not it for new Pokemon though. We also have new form changing Pokemon here as well. More Pico with his full belly mode. Ah, oh, he's so cute. And his hangry mode. Someone give this Pikachu inspired Pokemon a Snickers. Hey, does anyone remember Monstrous Peter Puppy? Uh, never mind. New Pokemon the Catch wasn't the only thing new here in this trailer, as we was also introduced to some new rivals, including Marnie, who looks like the leader within the villain gang, Team Yell. I like how they portrayed Team Yell as Marnie's groupies. Yeah, she's so cool. Look, I'm sure some fans were expecting the controversial issues to be addressed here, and they weren't. No national decks, the game doesn't look any better in my opinion, and I'm not sure that they're gonna address those issues at this time maybe in a future update down the road. But in the end, this is kind of looking like a safer sequel than most people were expecting. It doesn't look like it's changing the formula from X and Y too much. And that's why I think fans might be a little more upset with this one. It's looking like the Pokemon company may have played it a little too safe here and took some huge risk by not including the national decks. But the Galar region specific Pokemon does have me a little more excited for the game. How about you? Did this trailer get you more pumped for Sword and Shield? Tell us why or why not in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this video as we would really appreciate it. And for more on Pokemon, stay tuned to The Weekend Moblin.